Welcome back guys to yet another War of the Visions video. This time we're going to be going over a hot topic issue, which is going to be the Whimsy Shop. We're going to be dispelling some rumors about the Whimsy Shop. A lot of you guys know of the Whimsy Shop. You've seen it pop up before when you're completing quests, but exactly how does it work? We're going over exactly everything we know currently in game, tried, trusted, and and true about the whimsy shop if you haven't seen the whimsy shop you've seen it before it's a shop that pops up after you do certain quests you expend a certain amount of energy and it's going to be right here by the normal shop with the mission shop a lot of you guys out there utilize the whimsy shop and you can utilize it even more with the information found in here to get access to different character shards other things that show up in there that you could buy for either a visor or gill so exactly how does the whimsy shop work what are some of the rumors that we need to dispel first and foremost so first rumor that we're dispelling here is that on the whimsy shop opens after any quest it can open after any quest which is false the whimsy shop cannot open after any quest that you do right it has to be a quest that spends energy and the other thing that we're going to dispel here is it's not just quests that expend energy where the whimsy shop can open you cannot open up the whimsy shop when you're doing a multiplayer it cannot happen it just will not happen here doesn't matter if you're joining a multiplayer quest doesn't matter if you're hosting multiplayer quests you will not ever get the whimsy shop to open up from doing multiplayer quests so if you're out there you're wanting to spawn the whimsy shop because there's a window where it can spawn for you and there's a window where it no longer can spawn for you you're going to be taking this information Right when the window's closed, you're going to be going in and wanting to do multiplayer. That's when you're going to want to do it because if you can't spawn the Whimsy Shop for multiplayer and you want to have the Whimsy Shop spawned, you better do multiplayer when the opportunity for the Whimsy Shop to be open for you is closed. So, what is the things that spawn the Whimsy Shop? Basically, anything that's not multiplayer that spends energy will spawn the whimsy shop you can do different event stages that are solo events you can go ahead and do your different daily quests here the jp reward quest uh, tactics quest any sort of event quest works fine um you can go in here they will open up from the exp chamber gill any of this stuff that you're doing solo can spawn the whimsy shop as well as even up to normal quests if you're farming the story mode this can open up the whimsy shop for you as well as even world quests can spawn the whimsy shop for you here when you're going in you're doing your hard mode shard quest daily so those can all spawn the whimsy shop now what is this window of the whimsy shop that we're talking about so there's a window where the whimsy shop can open and there's a window where the whimsy shop can close and this window is open for the most part until you open the whimsy shop for the first time so you go in there you're doing your solo player stuff you're doing your events you're doing your uh, story missions you're farming up your materials and the whimsy shop finally opens so when the whimsy shop opens you will find it in the shop and it's open for 30 minutes after that 30 minutes is over the whimsy shop is going to close and you will not have access to it for an hour after the whimsy shop closes the window is closed you cannot reopen it no matter what for an hour so small example say it's it's one in the afternoon you open the whimsy shop it's open for 30 minutes so you're going to have access to the whimsy shop from one o'clock until 1 30. once the whimsy shop closes at 1 30 you will not be able to open up the whimsy shop for another hour it won't be available to spawn until 2 30 in this example after it hits 2 30 though you can open up the whimsy shop once again now opening the whimsy shop is rng dependent you're not guaranteed to do it which is going to be another rumor that we dispel here there is no solid evidence that spending an exact amount of energy or using a certain amount of skills that i've seen out there none of that data is concrete all right we do not know for certain that using 400 energy for spawns the whimsy shop or using um, you know, 300, uh, 700 AP and abilities for spawns the Whimsy Shop. That's just not true. If it was like 800 energy spent on AP to spawn the Whimsy Shop, then you could go in there and you could take, you know, take a Medina and do like 10 quests, user LB on every quest, and then uh, a couple other skills, and you'd have 800 AP spent, 700 AP spent, and it would open up the Whimsy Shop. It just does not do that, guys. It just doesn't happen. So that is a rumor to dispel here. So what should we do? With this information, how should you go about spending your time opening the Whimsy Shop and what did we learn here? It means that if you are lucky and you are planning your energy around the opening and the closing of the window, you can open up the, the Whimsy Shop multiple times per day. 
Now, you're not guaranteed to get them every hour, but you could say in theory, right? It's noon, right? It's 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 noon. It's lunchtime. You open the Wimpy Shop. You have the Wimpy Shop open until 1230 and it's then closes. The window closes until 130 in the afternoon. You start doing some battles. Maybe it takes you a couple minutes or whatever. Maybe it takes you until, um, you know, 145 to open the Wimpy Shop. Now, the Wimpy Shop is going to be open until uh, 215, right? An hour after that. That window is closed from 2.15 until 3.15, and then the window opens up again. You can go in there, you can start doing solo player stuff again. Try to force spawn the Whimsy Shop, do your different dungeons. You can use skip tickets, you can farm solo player stages. There's no correlation that's been found yet that spending more energy right, gives you a higher opportunity. It could scale with amount of energy spent and gives you an increased chance. That's a theory out there, but that is just a theory. We don't know that for certain at this point. There's nothing in the data that's been uh, data mined or looked at for the files that says anything about needing to spend an exact amount of, of energy to open it up. There's nothing that says that uh, it scales at a certain ratio with energy spent um, or anything of that nature. And anything that's been found in there that's been tested, it doesn't it doesn't uh, guarantee you to spawn it like we were talking about earlier based on an exact amount of energy spent, based on an exact amount of AP used during battles. None of that stuff is 100% uh, for certain yet. But this other stuff that we're talking about is for certain. So you can go in there, you can open it up. Once the hour window is closed, you're allowed to open it up again. That part is RNG. So what do you do here? What's the best way to spend your energy, especially during events where there's double drop rates on everything and you're still trying to open up the Whimsy Shop? as much as possible so what you can do here what you want to do right you can play the game uh, you know spend your event tickets do your story mode stuff go in there you know do your daily events um come in here and do your dailies right get your jp quest done if that's up do your guild chambers if you're into that use your growth egg stuff finish all that stuff up if you haven't opened up the whimsy shop from there yet then you continue on with other things right do your shard quests uh, maybe farm up some story mode stuff but if at any point in there you've opened up the whimsy shop maybe you've done some of your gill snapper stuff for the day right and it opens up right away you get really lucky or whatever it is stop doing your solo player stuff and either take a break and don't play the game um, after you're done with the Wimpy Shop, because you have an hour where you can't open up the Wimpy Shop anymore. That is an hour where spending your energy on solo player stuff isn't giving you an opportunity to open up that Whimsy Shop. Go and either don't play the game or go and do multiplayer stuff, and, and that's where you want to do your multiplayer there, because your multiplayer can never open up the Wimpy Shop. So the best time to do multiplayer is when you can't open up the Wimpy Shop at all because there's no trade-off there when, right if you're not able to open it best time to do it is when you can't open it anyway so this is going to allow you to um make the most use out of your energy right if you want the whimsy shop open only play solo player when the opportunity for the whimsy shop to be open is there when you can't open up the whimsy shop do a multiplayer you know maybe take a break from the game whatever go to your homework you know do whatever it is that you're doing during your day and then when you want the whimsy shop to spawn have a chance to spawn that's when you go back and start finishing up um your daily stuff right like i said before in that in that, th that scenario is what i want to say right you go in here you do events you get lucky right halfway through your guild chamber all this stuff your whimsy shop opens stop doing this right now take a break go play multiplayer so you reserve your energy right and then come back an hour later once the whimsy shop has closed so th an hour after the whimsy shop is closed the whimsy shop opens back up again, you're allowed to open it again, come back, finish the rest of your dailies, keep playing solo player till the Wimpy Shop opens one more time. That is the best way for you guys to get access to the Wimpy Shop. That is everything we know. We've dispelled all the rumors. So TLDR, you cannot open it when you're playing multiplayer. It doesn't matter if you're hosting, doesn't matter if you're joining, it will not open. So if you're trying to get the Wimpy Shop to open, avoid multiplayer, just don't play that mode at all. You can open up the Wimpy Shop doing any sort of a solo player activity. So you can do event quests, far plane stuff, anything that you want, as long as it's solo player. It doesn't matter what, how much energy it costs. doesn't matter if you use skip tickets as well. You can use skip tickets if you're trying to force spawn that Wimpy Shop there. It can open up from that. All right. Outside of that, we've dispelled all the other rumors as far as like using a certain amount of AP, using a certain amount of EXP, leveling up, energy. None of that stuff um, has any sort of solid concrete 100% factual basis that has been proven by tests or anything of that nature that just does not exist guys so hopefully you guys found this informative helped you guys out there when opening up the whimsy shop you guys can get in there use this the best of your knowledge you can open it up if you're lucky right during every single window so you open it up 
Once it closes a half hour later, that's when the window opens back up. And then you open it up half hour later. It closes again because it's open up for half an hour and you're good to go. So if you want to see more stuff like this, guys, go ahead, hit the subscribe button on the channel. We're going to be here all the time on YouTube and FFBE. If you want to see more stuff, hang out with the community, play multiplayer with our nice set up Discord for you guys. Ease of access allows you to select roles and play with like minded players. Check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for the support. Leave a like down below and comment if you found this information useful and how many times you've managed to open up the Wimpy Shop in a single day. I think my record is like six, six or seven. By like haphazard lucking, in, uh, lucking out and lugging in, but uh, and then on top of that, thank you for the Patreon as well as YouTube channel membership support. You guys are amazing out there. And until the next one, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.